Hi everyone, it's Carla here. I'm at my mom's kitchen right now. About to head back to Los Angeles soon. I'm going to make a stop in Fullerton. And, um, well, it's going to try to hang out with someone, but they're not available, so it's alright. Um, it is really weird being back in Fontana for a few days. Like, I wasn't even gone that long from Los Angeles, but it, it, it is like a different world over here. Even different than Fullerton, it's just, just different. Um, Fontana is a really depressing place to me because everyone gets knocked up right after high school or during high school. A lot of people do. And it's like birth control is like this magical thing that most of the people here just don't like to use or have no idea how it works. And uh, we need some more light in here. There we go. That's better. Um... Yeah, um, I'm not judging anyone, so I don't think I am, but good God, I, I'm 31 years old, and I am definitely not ready for children, okay? I had to, like, sort of watch 12 children last night freaking the fuck out over anything. Like, oh my God. And the parents, you know... They're not bad parents, it's just there was too many kids to keep track of. And, you know, it's, it's just, people are too lenient with their kids. Uh, I'm sorry, if my kid's being a dick, it's going to get smacked around, okay? But a lot of parents kind of give too much of a shit over their own needs than their children. I'm sorry, if my kid's acting like a fucking dick... We're going home. It, it, it's just, no, we're going home. You know, then I'm going to blame it on my kid and be like, it's your fucking fault we came home because you have to act like a dumbass. So, I, I'm just, I don't think I'm capable of being a parent ever. I would, I would probably make my kid's life a living hell just so it won't be an asshole when it grows up. You know, I mean, good lord. And, um... I just think people are too lenient with their kids now. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a parent, so I don't know. But I, I'll tell you this, as my experience as being a child once, I wasn't a lot of good with anything, okay? My mom would, like, tell me, you fucking idiot, I hate you, stop ruining everything. Like, stop. Like, I would get slapped in the middle of the store if I was acting like a dick, okay? And I deserved it. And, you know, it's probably why I grew up not being a fucking dick now as an adult, Probably why I can wipe my own ass, because my parents were strict with me. Okay, I mean, not psychotically strict, but they were pretty strict with me. And at least now I've grown up into a sort of well-functioning adult that can take care of herself. You know, I don't, I don't need everyone to wipe my ass. You know, and luckily I wasn't gifted with really, really good looks as a young person. So I had to build a character and build a personality to take care of myself. Now I'm okay looking, which, that's awesome. But, you know, whatever. Um, pimple, right. God, I'm getting, like, so many pimples now. I don't know why I'm 31 years old. I should not be getting these anymore. See, right there. Little pimples, right there, right there, right there. Um, but, you know, I had a good time in Fontana. I was weird seeing my mom, my sister, my cousins, and their chillins, and my uncle and aunt, and all that. But, good lord, I am not ready to have children. It is they're, they're, the kids are screaming, running around, wrangling around. It, it was it was like a messed up. It was like a dysfunctional, booze filled kindergarten class. That's pretty much what last night was like. Again, no one did anything bad last night. It's just that I'll be honest. The whole time I was like, I don't belong here. I don't belong in this. I don't belong here in this town. I I just I'm I just don't. You know, I'm not, I'm not better than anyone, okay? These people do have jobs. They provide for their children. And that's a lot of hard work. I could not imagine doing it. I'm too much of a selfish bitch that I cannot fathom sacrificing things for someone else when I've done that most of my life. I'm done. And, you know, I sacrificed 10 years of my life to take care of my family for a while, you know? I'm not saying this to be a saint. They helped out, too. It was just that I'm done sacrificing for other people. And if that makes me a selfish bitch, 
Oh, well, you know. And again, you know, people confuse Jesus with Ayn Rand, so whatever. So I guess being a selfish bitch is okay. And, um, not bagging on anyone for whatever the fuck they believe in. I don't, I don't care what you believe in, just don't confuse the two. And, um, you know, I do believe, though, that people do need to take responsibility for their own actions and stop doing this. It's your fault. 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 Shut up. Okay. God. It, it, it is your fault if your life sucks. Think about it. You. Okay. It was my fault. My life sucked for so long. Okay. Sure. I dated a bunch of shitty assholes and I had low self-esteem. I didn't work out. Whose fault was that? That was my fault. Okay. I put up with all the bullshit. I didn't want to get off my ass. I wanted to eat shitty food. That's my fault. That was no one else's fault. I blame one thing, though. I hate that shitty food is cheaper than good food. That's not cool. There, it's basically balance. It's not just everyone's fault. Just you have to research everything that's around you and then make the choices based on that. Seriously. Just, God, I'm so sick of everyone whining. Jeez. Um, anyway, as far as Fontana goes, um, I probably will be back here for a few months just because it's too... It's too depressing for me to be here. Uh, I mean, I love my mom. I love my sister. They're out right now. And I'm leaving. Going back home to LA today. I miss my boyfriend, like, so much. I know, I know. We live together. But you have to understand, you know, when you go from sleeping with someone every day, that sounds dirty. You, you know what I mean, though. Sharing a bed with someone every day to, like, being in a different bed on your own. It feels kind of weird. Um... I mean, good lord. I, it was nice seeing Lawrence yesterday. I went to downtown Riverside. That was cool. Went to the Menagerie in Riverside on Friday with my sister. Look at this zit. Oh my god. And it was a good time. It's just, Riverside is depressing, yo. It, it is, you know, it's trying. Riverside's trying to be better. And that's good. I think it's one of the, like, the few areas that is trying to be better. It's Riverside and Redlands. They have, like, a little... They have a few things to do. Rancho doesn't. It's all fucking families. And it's kind of like, if you're a single person, don't move to an area where there's fucking families. Because when there's families, there ain't shit to do at night. Just because it's a more family-oriented town. Why would a bar go to a family-oriented town? Think. You're single, move to a place where all the single people are. Or at least be a little close to them. Or something. Um, you know, just you have to think, kids. You have to research. You have to you have to do your you have to do your homework before you make a decision. Um, I'm just I'm kind of bothered by the fact that you know everyone in my a lot of people in my hometown just got knocked up really quick. I mean, if that's that's works for them, that's great. It's just fuck. I don't know how you guys do it. I really do not know how you guys do it. But kudos, because I do not ever want to be a parent. It is too hard. So anyway, on that note, uh, it's a bit of a weird weekend for me, and I'm going back to L.A., so that'll be fun. Anyway, uh, Three of Clubs, Thursday night, follow the White Rabbit. It's happening. Uh, it's $5 to get in, but it's, it's a good time. I think DJ Effigy is playing, so mashups. You like mashups? And, um, tonight, Malediction at the Monte Cristo. Check it out. I got stuff. Leo's get in for free today, I think. Yeah, Leo's get in for free today. And, yes, that's it. Um, again, bye, everyone. And I'll be back in LA in a few hours. Awesome. Bye.